Hi everybody, on this screencast of Total OS today I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the uh, top 10 Linux distributions and uh, comparing them to uh, Zorin OS 3 which I currently use now that's in addition to uh, Windows XP and Windows 7 uh, I actually enjoy using uh, Zorin, uh, Linux Mint, and Ubuntu. Alright, let's uh, quickly take a look at the top 10 uh, Linux distributions. What I have here first is just the Zorin uh, OS website and it talks a little bit about the Zorin uh, OS 3. But let's go to DistroWatch's uh, top 10 and take a look at that. Okay. Here I want to take a look at the uh, top 10 Linux distributions as of today. Number one is Ubuntu, uh, two is Fedora, number three is Mint, four is OpenSUSE, five is Debian, six is PC Linux OS, number seven is uh, Mandriva, number eight is Sebion, Sebion. number nine is Arch, and uh, number ten, number ten is Puppy. Okay. As far as Ubuntu being uh, number one, um, yeah, I, I would say that uh, the people behind this, uh, the company Canonical, uh, I would say it deserves, Ubuntu deserves to be uh, number one since uh, its inception really in what, 2004 or uh, 2005? It's really, uh, Ubuntu has really come a long way in making a uh, Linux uh, distribution that was uh, that is no longer identifiable or, or strictly identified as something for geeks uh, Ubuntu really has become a Linux for the masses uh, trying to appeal to both Linux users and Windows uh, users like myself so number one is Ubuntu and as a Windows user that's fine with me number two number two is Fedora and I tried Fedora did not like it Number three, those of you who follow my channel, uh, Linux Mint, awesome, awesome operating system. Uh, number four is OpenSUSE, tried it, did not like it. Uh, Debian, tried it once, did not like it. PC Linux OS, uh, tried it once, I did like it, so I would say it deserves to be in the top uh, 10. Seven is Mandriva, tried it once, have mixed results with it. Sebion have not tried it. Um, from what I understand, people have had mixed results with that. Number nine is Arch. From what I've learned, it is not an easy distribution to learn if you are a Windows user. Number ten, uh, number ten is Puppy. I've tried it. Uh, it was certainly fast, but I did not like using Puppy. Okay. Quickly again at the top. 10. Ubuntu definitely deserves to be there. Number three is Mint and number six is PC Linux OS. So you look at the top 10 list here and out of the top 10 I really only see three that should be there. Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and PC Linux OS. I don't know why but Zorin is ranked number 43. I've been using Zorin for a while now on my uh, HP multimedia laptop and it has been just about as perfect as possible for a Linux operating system. Now some of you know that I've been having issues with HD videos. Cannot play HD videos in Linux on my single core machines. Try different things, plays in Windows XP and Windows 7 fine but for whatever reason cannot play HD videos so I am, I am not blaming Zorin OS for that but putting that aside Zorin has been absolutely spectacular for me at least so when I look at this Zorin should not be ranked number 43 in my opinion Zorin should at the very minimum be at the top 10 or maybe even Number one, I mean, I'm using the uh, Zorin OS3 multimedia multimedia edition, and it's it like I said, it plays everything out of the box. Um, have not had really any issues except for the HD video part, but 
no Linux distribution seems to work for me that I've tried for playing HD video. So again, putting that aside, Zorin should be at the very minimum at the top 10 or maybe even number one. Now, I know there are Linux users out there who swear by their own Linux distribution, and that's fine. Uh, just understand that I use, I'm, I am a dual booter. Uh, I have more experience with Windows than Linux, although I really enjoy using Linux. Look, it's, it's nice to run an operating system online and not have to worry about you know viruses or anti-spyware software and stuff like that and you, and you cannot beat the speed of any Linux distribution versus Windows although Windows can be tweaked to run pretty fast but uh, I suppose I could do a different screencast on that but as far as the top 10 goes Zorin should be number 10 or number one why it's not I don't know it could be because it's fairly new on the market uh, not a lot of pu not a lot of pu publicity or PR uh, but they deserve to be in the, in the top 10 at the bare minimum okay as far as the Zorn OS 3 operating system itself you can go to uh, Zorn OS's website and, and it talks a little bit about it basically here it's uh, Zorin is safe to use, it's stable, it's, it's an out-of-the-box software solution, it's a very fast operating system, uh, fully customizable, it comes pre-installed with OpenOffice, Firefox, and Rhythmbox, and all that. Zorin OS utilizes the Genome desktop environment, although the exclusive, really super cool look changer can instantly change the look of the Zorn OS desktop to make it look like either the Genome or Windows 7 or Windows XP or Mac. Uh, you may want to take a look at that. I, I did a quickie demonstration of that in one of my videos. I may do a, uh, a, a full screencast of the uh, Zorn OS 3 uh, look changer. I mean, it's, it's really a cool uh, piece of software in a Linux uh, distribution. So, for those of you who are considering uh, trying Linux or even have Linux, take a look at Zorn OS 3. Uh, look, those of you who follow my, uh, my uh, YouTube uh, channel, I don't like to mess, uh, waste time messing with trying to figure out a problem, whether it's in uh, you know, Linux or Windows. The way I see it, the more time I spend trying to figure out a problem, the less time it, there is for me, my family, or with my son, and I don't like that. And you know, distributions like you know Zorin OS and really even Linux Mint and Ubuntu up to a point, they've you know they've come a long way in making uh, these uh, operating systems really appeal to the masses, to Windows users like myself. Um, I guess for this screencast, all I'm saying is that. Zorn OS 3 does not deserve to be at, well, I was going to say at the bottom. It isn't really at the bottom. It's, what did I say, number 43. It deserves to be in the top 10, in my opinion, maybe even, I dare say, number one, with all respect to Ubuntu users and its creators. But that is my humble Windows opinion, uh, for what it's worth. So, But definitely check out Zorn OS 3. It should be... Well, it's on the top 10 of my list. In fact, it's in the top 3 of my list as far as uh, Linux OS is, uh, is concerned. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much it for this uh, screencast. Uh, as always, if uh, guys have any uh, questions or requests, let me know. And please don't forget to comment, uh, rate, and subscribe. I think the last request I took was something about Windows. I forget what it was about uh, someone out there who requested you might remember sorry I forget but anyway if you have a request I'll be happy to take a look at it if if, if for some reason I can't uh, do it or don't have the time at least I will respond to you and try to point you in the right in the right direction if you are looking for a solution anyway guys uh, that's it as always thank you for watching total OS today and I'll catch you sometime in the near future. Goodbye.